Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'm pleased to cordially welcome you back to Star Fox Zero, where previously we entered Sector Beta and established dominance with our Bulldog and Husky allies, only to find that pesky Star Wolf being extremely incompetent in trying to stop us, so we went ahead and beat them up. It was pretty easy. <laughs> However, we did end up discovering that there were teleporters to be found in several other systems, and starting with Corneria, I think it's time that we go and revisit them. So I said we go do that. Urgent message from General Pepper. Are we surprised? Star Fox, do you read me? We're under attack from Andros's army. We need your help immediately. We'll take the job. Andros won't be getting his way this time. <laughs> Are you implying that because he's out his way in the past? Uh, so interestingly enough, I think that dialogue is a bit different than the pep talk we had in the beginning of the game where, yeah, right here, where we had to awkwardly stare at our fellow pilots while the world is at war right beneath us. <laughs> ah, but here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Corneria, where it's time for us to find a good-ass teleporter that should hopefully take us to some pretty neat places. Unfortunately, there's no real way for us to know where it is on this planet, but um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's at the end of the stage after phase one, which means we need to go all the way through the level and get sucked up into another vortex of space and time before entering the next stage. Now, this wouldn't exactly be a problem if the alternate paths and routes we end up taking weren't incredibly short. Uh, I mean, they're interesting deviations, and they almost guarantee we'll be revisiting every single level in the game, but a lot of them just aren't very interesting, and if you're not paying attention, then you might get confused on what the true storyline to this game is, which admittedly is already extremely convoluted. But I digress, I figured uh, since this is the first stage to house an obvious teleport that we'd go through and play for a while. I'll get an opportunity to catch up with my lovely three or four viewers. How's it going? Help, I'm being <laughs> yeah, well, there's no surprise there. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far because, well, as much as I'd hate to admit, it's getting kind of difficult to record. And I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just my computer is struggling to handle capturing the game footage, gamepad, and commentary simultaneously, and it usually ends up having to compromise one for the other, and I think it mostly has to do with the actual game footage itself, which is what's been screwing up more often than not. So it's a little bit stressful, but everything will be alright, I promise you this. So what I would recommend doing is collecting as many bombs as possible here, as well as upgrading to the hyper lasers, because your power-ups will carry over through the teleporter, but if you screw up, then you have to play through the entirety of this in order to get to it again. I believe. I don't remember exactly, because they're all different. But we gotta head through this alternate path with our walker, and make sure we don't lose our hyper laser, because that would really suck. There is an upgrade in the next level, in the actual stage. Which, interestingly enough, is actually like a speed run of a boss fight, so... It's kind of interesting, and w another reason why I wanted to add Corneria to the beginning of the video was then the video would only be like three minutes long, so... <laughs> oh, no problem, Bill. It was my pleasure. What's that? It appears to be a teleporter. My reading suggests enemy activity on the other side. Like the one at the colony, huh? Better check it out. I'm going in! What? That is nothing like the one in Area 3. This is literally a product of space and time converging to create something that will lead us somewhere, sometime, someplace. We have no idea, but yeah, we don't really care about the hits because, well, one phase. Uh, but through the Doctor Who intro we go for kind of an interesting area. Rob! Where am I? Unable to pinpoint your location due to lingering effects from the space-time war. That's not good. There's no way you can beat us in the water! It's payback time! 
So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to Aqua Rosa. Oh. Yes, whatever you do, avoid getting caught in that at all costs, because not only will you be left vulnerable, but it does quite a bit of damage if I remember. Also, it's pretty easy to telegraph, and I already lost my power up, so we'll go grab the extra one that's over here. And the idea is to destroy all of these radio satellite dishes as quickly as possible. And in order to get a medal for this particular level, we need to beat this in under 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So, gotta avoid this with the very cinematic camera angle. If there's something I can give the game, it would probably be that in certain circumstances. Yeah, good luck with that. And, okay, when he raises like this, the electromagnetic field is gonna go out much quicker, so avoid that. And there will be three in the water, pretty much in complete opposite directions of each other, so... We are going to go and destroy them with our bombs, which I've been hoarding since Cornaria, so I'm glad those carried over with us. And... there we go. So you might notice, uh, I have a previous best record for this level, and, uh... That's obviously because uh, this recording failed, very unfortunately, but it's short enough that I don't really care that much, and wow, did I really miss that. Nice. I thought the shield was going to get me. Alright, here we go. Whew. You beat us again? I'm never going to live this down. You got that right. <laughs> uh, sassy Star Fox. But there we have mission complete, and I beat that quicker than last time, so yeah, it's not really all that unfeasible. But that's all that is, that's all that teleporter led us to, was Aqua Rosa, which reminds me of that song by Roy Orbison, Shadaroba, I don't know, it's just, Aqua Rosa, I don't know. <laughs> Returning to main objective. <sighs> what was the main objective exactly? Are we just going... Teleporter hopping? I don't know. But upon defeating that level, we are besieged with a couple of options here. We can either go to Area 3 and do an alternate mission there, which is much different than what we did last time, or we could head to Zonus. And you guys know how I feel about Zonus. We'll eventually be visiting that at some point, maybe even after Area 3, which is another really short level, but we'll be seeing a couple of familiar faces and expect that to be a pretty short level. My name is Alston Cruz, and I'm sorry this is like not even 10 minutes long. I'll see you guys next time on Star Fox Zero. Take care.